I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm gonna make some uh, dough for you. Let me get my phone in real quick. I was gonna do it yesterday, but I was tired. So I have three and a half cups of flour. I always have my side a um, little bit of flour here. And uh, you need four eggs. Mix it in. Hang on, I got the dog wants to go out. Okay. I hope everyone's doing great. I hope y'all can see this. Can anybody see this? I hope so. If not, sorry. So add an egg slowly. I don't know if you guys are seeing this or not. I hope so. So take your time doing this. This is probably the easiest step making it. So you're gonna add um, a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of salt and you're gonna add, that's a little pepper, it's fine. You're gonna add a tablespoon of water. One tablespoon of water, that's it. There's a little pepper in there. Did you see it? So instead of adding water, you can add carrot juice, spinach juice. Uh, let's see what else. Beet juice. So you can make a vegetable um, flavored pasta. You could actually use herbs too. I do that sometimes. So once I get done making this, um, I'll probably put it in bowls to feed into my machine and make some regular pasta, which I'll hang to dry. So drying your pasta could take up to uh, three to five, even a week, you know, how many days. Um, my grandmother used to lay it on a, a sheet and then on a bed um, and let it dry that way. But... Um, I'll freeze mine like I do my gnocchis if you guys watched me make my gnocchis. Um, so once they get frozen, I, uh, pop them off and put them in a bag. And then I, uh, I pop, um, then I could freeze them up to a month. But in my house, it doesn't last long because I'll cook it and I'll add it to something. So this is only three and a half cups of flour, and that's extra if I need it. I'm making um, roast beef tonight. I haven't had that in forever, and um, so we decided to have that tonight for dinner with some beans and stuff, vegetables.
Just keep mixing it. I apologize, I can't read what you're writing, so. If you feel like you need another drop or whatever of water, you can do that. It's not going to ruin the recipe. If you want to add another egg, you can. I think this recipe would be great with three cups of flour for four eggs, my opinion. This is the recipe they gave me for the machine. I usually use um, myself six eggs and probably about three cups of flour and some salt. want to be able to work it so you can mold it into a ball. It's important to um, refrigerate your pasta if you're not going to use it right away because it has eggs in it. So I'm going to roll it out a little bit. My brother was a pro at making homemade pasta for lasagna and stuff. We used to have competitions. So you want a golf ball size, they said, for the machine that I have. I'm going to run a little water on it. Set it aside. So run your hand in some water. So you need golf size shapes for the machine. If you um, don't want to use the machine and you want to use the crank machine, you leave it like that. I'm going to leave that one like that and I'll show you how to use the other machine. Um, that KitchenAid has the attachments where you can make um, lasagna noodles or fettuccine noodles or stuff like that. Get a bag. 
So you just put it in a Ziploc bag. And put that one on the side and the bowls on the left. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I'll make it later. Put a little flour in there if you made it too wet. You don't have to take all the air out. All right, so I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna get ready to make some real easy bread. Um, that's melt in your mouth delicious. Keep that good flour, right? Because I didn't use it yet. Let me wash my hands. So again, it's three and a half cups of flour. I would say start off with three cups and keep the half cup on the side. Four eggs, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of water. That's for your pasta. I'll get my bread recipe out. start off with two cups of warm water. I'm going to use what I poured my flour in. So warm water is like if you test it with your wrist to see if it's too warm or too hot. So this just only had flour in it. You're, I'm good. I'm grabbing my yeast. I keep it in the refrigerator. So I need one and a half teaspoons of salt, of one and a half teaspoons of yeast, or tablespoons, forgive me. So you need one and a half. So I go one and then a half. Using rapid, rapid yeast. I'm using self-rising flour. Give that a little mix. We need one and a half teaspoons of salt. You can add um, pesto to this to make an herb an herb um, bread, which is really nice. And you can also warm up your olive oil like I showed you in previous videos and make a nice herb. Garlic bread. I need two th thirds cup of sugar. pot for this. Can you guys see it? Good. So let that sit. We need two-thirds cup of sugar. We're 
we're going to need um, one fourth cup of olive oil. So far we have two, two cups of warm water with one and a half tablespoons of yeast, one and a half uh, teaspoons of salt, two thirds cup of sugar, one fourth cup of oil, and we're gonna need five and a half cups of flour. You're going to let it rise for two hours, and then you're going to mix it up, north, south, east, west. You're not going to need the heck out of it. And then you're going to mold it into a, into a um, bread. That's one. It's two. Three. Four. And you don't have to sift it either. How easy is that? There's five for now. I'm gonna add my yeast. Put a little bit of water in there and get rid of the rest of that yeast. So we're gonna let this rise for two hours. I have two cups of warm water, one and a half tablespoons of yeast. One and a half teaspoons of salt. I have two thirds cup of sugar. I have one fourth teaspoon of, uh, one fourth cup of oil rather. And I used olive oil. And I have five cups of flour in here. This is just regular bread. It's a sweet bread, it's delicious. So now I'm gonna add my half cup of flour. I'm gonna leave that there. Now I'm gonna cover it. Here's a half. I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap and a towel. I'm going to let it rise for two hours. You could use a blender too if you want. So I'm gonna just put saran wrap on top. Wash my hands. So if you got the pasta recipe and now you have some homemade bread. We're gonna let this rise for two hours. Then I'll be back to show you the end result. You 
want to put a towel down on the counter to keep the warmth. Put it right there. And we're going to leave this flower for later. All right, guys, two hours. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up my mess. Much love to you, and God bless, and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless you, too.